something tells me that life is strange. <laughs> Cute. Uh, so is, is it alright to say we figured out what, what it is? Yes, we've figured out by ourselves wrote, Let's get married. that we must have missed this one. It might be a useful password. Oh, I didn't skip to the right. Oh, is that what we did wrong? Yeah. So he got egg and sausage with toast and coffee in 2008. Oh, the monster. It's so actually only like the year after we left the area. I think we left the area in 2007. Max did anyway. Okay. In the canon. Yeah, yeah. So now we have that last day in the <gasps> family. Yeah, we found that out actually. See, previously what we thought is that we could find out what the canonical choices are by loading an episode hmm. um, without playing it. But they've changed it, they've patched it in so it's random now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry, password. Yeah, yeah. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? So Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dorm and followed Rachel to Lighthouse. And then there is a police report from reporting officer Anderson Barry. Oh, they all, do they all have food surnames? <laughs> they do all seem to, don't they? So Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35pm. Possession of a controlled substance reported by David Madsen, head of campus. Witness her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. Uh, and her bag was found to contain illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate M follows the same path to, to every class. Kate and Dana talking about supplies to Vortex Club party. No. It could just be bunting, dude. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, food or anything. You're Mostly really bunting. assuming the wrong person is into drugs. So knows her Bible. Stays in the bathroom longer than oh, for God's sake. She's depressed. Yeah, it takes longer to pee when you're depressed. No, I you you sit and hide in the stall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't trust men with goatees. I'm I'm not sure if I'm with them there or not. Kept to herself <laughs> since the Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs. Why does everything around. end in drugs? She does seem to have an agenda. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. No, if that's when we overheard you, you were trying to, like, interrogate her. And she got upset and ran away. It's like Kate Marsh. She looked in the mirror when she was putting on her makeup. Drugs? drugs. <laughs> this is yes. so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Oh, wow. I like the online aliases bit. Mad Max. <laughs> Max Factor. Noir and Angel. Noir Angel. But yes, he was starting to track us as well. That is actually creepy. So what was it say then? It's just her class schedule. Mm, okay. Creepy as. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just now, one more thing. Make sure to say. leave that there so he knows. Clever. No butterfly, though, which is a shame. It would have been nice if the game thought of that. Mm. Or maybe he just realises anyway. So we can speak to Chloe and speak to Joyce. And go upstairs and bother David. Probably not. Probably not. I'll speak to Joyce first. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. Drama llama 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 llama. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> ah, 
figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? See, the thing is, David did totally start that. Yeah, so the other thing is that this isn't Max's family. <laughs> yes, um, there should be a third option. Leg it. Fight again and have a day. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. This looks like an important one. Oh, it's, it's in caps. Side with David, side with Chloe. That's how you say it. Side with Chloe? That's what I'm going for? In this particular case, that's pro uh, that's who I'd agree with, but I'm not sure I'd side with anyone in this situation. No, that's the thing. It's the making the choice. The only choice is to one way or the other. It's not... Mm. You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Now, obviously, you out there in Radio Land by which I mean YouTube, um, <laughs> couldn't see that. But all through that sequence, I was throwing the Vs up at the television. <laughs> and not the good kind. Yeah. Should we speak to people? Um, yeah, it might be fun. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Problem is, you've hurt you and your family. What's responsibility? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Joyce, you are the only person with any reason ever in Arcadia Bay. You should, like, hug her or something. Can you hug her? There should be a hug button to <laughs> hug her. And go, like, Joyce. And this is Chloe Betts. Chloe Betts. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> That was, that was uh, also surprisingly familiar, but um, never mind that. Um, I think our option, yeah, is to just can we go get upstairs out of Dodge. At all? Nope. No. We can only uh, make it to the third step. And yes, this is the, the... That's the garage through there. Really? Yeah. Well, I thought it was the garage. You know what I mean. Should we leave? Should we do some more reading before we leave? Just in uh, case? Or? Well... <laughs> After that, it's like, uh, yeah, let's do some, some It reading. is, it's doing the whole sort of everything's quiet. People said what they really thought. David was a little bit sexist. Ah, uh, threw swears at the telly. <laughs> you did that one? Yeah, so here you go. This Should I do this one? Yeah. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me. Shocked! 
and worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. <gasps> she is freaking unreal, and that was a long sentence. I gave Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate? I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard and hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favour? Her favour. I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. Yes, there's something incredibly awesome! about breaking into your own school at the witching hour. Although Chloe was technically right, how can we break in with a key? Never mind that. It, oh, sorry. Never mind that it was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the Blackwell ninjas strike again. Very nice. Picture of a ninja. Go back a page. And, and that wasn't back a page, was it? Yes, it was. Enter oh. the Blackwell Ninja. Keymaster Chloe. That's what you couldn't see because it was covered by the sticky earlier. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even call them post-it notes. They're just stickies. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, go back a bit. There's a punk ghost as well. That is indeed a punk ghost. She's very cool. It says punk ass ghost, but ass has been scribbled out. <laughs> well, it looks like someone else added ass. Also, I'd, like, do you do the thing, like, when you see something ass... Do you do the thing where you associate the ass with the second word rather than the front? So this well, is a punk ass ghost. And now that we've explained that joke, I think everyone does. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's not a bad joke. Okay. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were wa walking towards the centre of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. I like how Centre is spelt the American way, because she is American and it's her diary, even though it's a British release of a game. Is it just, that's just me. Yeah, I'm sure they would just not, not be too lazy to translate it anyway. <laughs> All things are never like localised to that extent. I don't mind. But we kind of suck as master spies, since we didn't have a key for the principal's office. No worries with, with my rewind power at hand. And of course, Dr. Warren, Warren Graham, bleh. He came through with a bitchin' mini-bomb made of sodium what the fuck ever. I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is the star student here. He tries so hard to help, maybe too much. But what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Actually, I wonder if that's why he has a rubbish grade on the last test, because he keeps on being distracted by us. Mm. Anyway, talk about being in the Sancto Sanctorum. Thanks that in class I bravely passed, barely passed, of Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through his files and laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretended that we were on a very special episode of The Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, just a couple of wacky Sherlocks investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. I think we're too old for The Wizards of Waverly Place. It's a kids' show. Oh, is it? Yeah, I it's it actually a, a TV show. Some of it could just be because we get American shows later than, than the Americans do. So uh, this will be what we read next, but we can probably leave that there for now. Shall are you we? sure? Because are, are we going to have more of a chance Hopefully. to catch up? If this is the end, we can read the last few bits in the extras and have them come up as well. I guess. I don't want to spam the end of this. Let's leave Chloe and commit. Commit. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I 
I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. That was weird. But here we are. There has to be food for you somewhere. Chloe is diving in the trash. Classy. Trez Clash is classy. What does that say? Hold to another universe. Actually there's loads of those throughout the game. I don't know if it's laziness with our uh, oh, I don't know if it's laziness with art assets or some sort of recurring theme, because there's a lot of recursion in the game. Yeah, yeah, there is. So we just got a message from Dad. Just gonna pull it up real quick. Okay, uh, you be the dad, I'll be Max. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do, smiley face. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. You're as bad as Warren. It's cute though. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. Mm -hmm. See what she did? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Max Oxo. Max Oxo. It's cute because it's like it's her. Her name is also the X O X O. I've never understood X O X O anyway. Let's hug some kisses. How is a circle a kiss? A hug. Careful, a hug. Max. Right. Cujo ahead. Police car. Holy scum. That's another bad. What is going on here? That's going to be the next event at the end of the episode, isn't it? Yes, because we did, um... Now dying animals? And the cutscene over, we did still Holy see... Shit. There it is. The cloud of birds. But yes, we're seeing more and more dead birds dotted all so over the creepy. place. And yes, it is quite creepy. It's quite sad. I wonder if you've got to catch them all. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Mm. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? Funny you should say that. I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Oh. Like a quarter pound. Actually, that is kind of the terrifying thing about California, because it's like they have, um, they do have earthquakes, but then, like, it also is on fire a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. It's, it's weird. And of course, California is the most common red hot chili pepper lyric, counting for over 60% of their lyrics. Yes, yes, it is. And there's also a trucker. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. You even have ma in a bowl. matching tops. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. He's friendly. <laughs> Worst interview ever. Worst interview ever. Oh, she even said that. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Hey. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Man, yes, driving a, sounds so difficult. You are a complete jerk. Should I rewind? Why is it giving me a rewind prompt? 
See, this is what I don't get as well. This is like going, oh, driving. The driving's not the hard part of being a trucker, surely. I'm it's, assuming it's, it's the, the endurance. The, the passing the time, yeah, and possibly the loneliness. I'll do the other option in the other save. I don't really want to talk to him again. What he a was, jerk, though. He was a jerk. Mm. A giant jerk pants. Here we are, back in the diner. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You've got to look at the Go Ape poster, man. Oh, oh, apparently not. I will, I will. Oh, you are. Oh, you are. Cool. It does look like fun. I'm just not in fun mode right now. Poor Warren. Um, what does that say at the bottom there? Post it looking for a lady friend to go with. Call me. What? What? Is it? Is it his number? I don't I think it would be him as the thing, because he could easily go with, um, Brooke. What's that guy doing there? I thought he won the lottery. Is that him? Yeah, he won the lottery. Hmm. Maybe you'll talk to him at the end or something, I don't know. Nathan? Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. <laughs> nice. Actually, it's nice that we got to look around this location again. Have a look at the Wall of Fame. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. I think we looked at this the very first time, but that was a while ago. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing Wall of Fame. All of them caught by dudes. That's Andy Barry, isn't that the, the policeman? He was called Anderson Barry. Are they all literally named after foods? <laughs> <laughs> Must be... He sounds delicious. Talk to the cop, he's called. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's <laughs> keys. I don't think we can actually talk to anyone, is the thing. We can just look at them all. And look at the postcards again. You never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Kitten. Oh, really? You should have jumped, asswipe. News travels fast. Kate Marsh, love you long time. This is new as well, which is a bit strange. Shit. What are the other signs then? Someone's crossed out fire walk with me. It's our only chance to get it. I would have just cleaned it off. Oh, can we look at the telly? Oh, yes, I think it does. Is it different? But that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedora, will your team know more after their latest tests? I hope we see more patterns, which gives us an atmospheric template. Many local residents of Arcadia Bay have been questioning what has been going on with this crazy weather. We had an eclipse yesterday, a snowstorm two days ago, which, as most of you know, is not common this time of year. It's unprecedented, to be honest with you. Uh, the last time that we had a snowstorm of this caliber was over a hundred years ago. All of us are questioning what is happening in Arcadia Bay. Please feel free to call in and let me know what your experience has been. What you think this might be is this global warming what is causing all of this crazy weather. Uh, it was great to hear from those game devs, but the, <laughs> the thing is, and what bugged me about that, is that an eclipse is not a meteorological event that's rare no, and only happens, not. and they're not talking about that. It's like, uh, it, that was like the sun and the moon changing position unexpectedly. Yeah. It's a bit of a bigger deal than a snowstorm. It is, yeah, because you can get random unseasonable weather. Uh, so we've got a can we can spill, food we can spill, and Frank we can talk to. Well, we, we can definitely spill the can because it's a can, not a can't. <laughs> okay. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's key? Spill the beans. But don't touch. Oh, God. I'll try speaking to him first. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel, 
doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. I creep you out. Hours, Max. No keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I'm really not sure what we're... It's like a million options. Mm -hmm. Let's fill this can. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Not bad. He kills you, apparently. Fill the plate. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating <laughs> those beans. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps stopping because he's gonna kill you. This is amusing, though. Okay, so it's neither the beans nor the can. Although that was amusing. Those are all amusing. Let's try speaking there to the is. car. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Next. What? I have no idea. Let's try them all. David? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. You could just keep talking to him as well. Maybe get all the options first. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him. That I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. I think that's all the options I'm getting off him. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Should I rewind? Mm -hmm. What? What did you say that was wrong? I suppose bad mouthing the Prescotts to the police. You, you, you didn't. I suppose he stopped talking, so maybe it's a sensitive topic that he should avoid. And again? I was going to try again. Okay. There she is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you represent. Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Oh. We have an underline now so we can do more. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. <laughs> ben? What? Shut up. I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Are you ever gonna pick Weird Town? Do you think I can- Yay! <laughs> I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I don't think we need to hear David Madsen again. 
So we got lots of information. Mm. Who do we talk to next, Nathan? We can speak to Nathan, yeah. Maybe set off Nathan about the cop watching him. Possibly, but how does that affect... Well, let's there's, find there's out. There's a ruckus and he burnt that, yeah, I'm not sure. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your dad. I <laughs> like the way that's just one of the options. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Such a nice boy. Mm. Holy shit, what do you want now? Cops information. Yes. We were kind of expecting that though, weren't we? Should we try other things first? Or? Yeah. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? What? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit. What oh, you can just keep talking now? to him. And he seems to like it. Hmm. Drugs for sale. Listen, Might as well go all out. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Is that so? Holy shit. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. I bet you could talk to the cop about that. Should I speak to him about the cop? Um, I mean, you've got a lot of options here. We can always rewind and do them all. Well, I mean, there are so many options. Maybe we could do them next time. <laughs> good, good ending there. Yeah, we'll see you again next time. Time.